Hey guys, it's Mr. We Got Options and I'm back with another one. Today I want to talk about the five things that I hate about having a lifted truck. Alright guys, thanks for joining me again in another video. If you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button for me. And in addition to that, once you subscribe, hit go down in the comments and, and write I subscribe for me. And then I'll make sure to shoot you a comment thanking you for taking the time to view in the videos and subscribing to the channel. And I appreciate it. All right. Hey, I don't know how many mathematicians out here watching YouTube on my channel, but there's things called algorithms in YouTube. And so if you smash that like button, that helps the algorithm for this channel and it's most appreciated. So hit that like button for me and also subscribe. Thanks. Got options you already know. By God's grace, the blessings you love. Let Him guide you in all you do. He'll never leave like faith wants to. We all got dreams, you know that's true. But dreams won't pay any bills for you. Seek Jesus while living life. Stay away from hate, jealousy, and strife. Cars, clothes, ice are things that bling, but don't save your soul for anything. Yes, sir. It's real talk. Choose Christ. Choose life. Hey guys, I think everybody loves lifted trucks, but there's sometimes there's some things that people just don't tell you before you lift your truck, right? All right, so number one is you lose your turning radius when you lift your truck. You gotta pay the price to look nice. You can see the stance on this truck, how the wheels stick out a little bit with that offset and all of that causes you to have to expand your turning radius. All right, yeah, so with turning radius, the biggest thing is in parking garages. In a parking garage in an urban area, instead of being able to do maybe a three-point turn like on this road right here, uh, you might have to do five or six points to get turned around. All right, guys, number two, you can't fit in the car wash anymore. Look how wide this thing is. You see those wheels, how they poke out? Nah, <laughs> no more car washes for you. All right, so another thing uh, that I hate about the truck number three is the truck's always dirty, it seems like. Now, I just washed this one, so this is a, give me a temporary exception on that. But normally, if you go through any water puddles, I don't care if it's six inches deep or six millimeters deep, these wheels will splash mud on the side with that beautiful physique. All right, folks. So now we're at number four. You gotta have a ladder to wash the truck. There's no way you're getting up here without a ladder unless you're Shaq. And Shaq, if you're watching, you tell me whether or not you need a ladder to wash your truck, because your truck's probably eight feet tall. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about what's going on in Ukraine and Russia and all the excuses these oil producers make for the price of gas. So number five is your M, your P, your G. That's your miles per gallon. They going down when you go up, all right? And the reason for that is, of course, you got more resistance uh, with the truck being high. The width of these tires makes a difference. And then uh, the extra weight that you add to the truck with the lift is where all of that is going to negatively impact your miles per gallon. I will say that this particular truck does lower down a few inches in the aerodynamic mode and uh, exactly how much that helps. I really have to do a study to confirm how well that works. But yeah, when you lift your truck, your miles per gallon will go down some. All right, folks, so in this video, we went through five things that I hate about the truck, uh, my lifted truck. And so just want to let you know none of these things are real deal breakers it all depends on your situation uh, how you need your truck to perform things of that nature uh, because there are some advantages of having a lifted truck as well and I'll go into those in a future video yeah and also sometimes in life the only way to experience things is to actually do them so I mean sometimes you just got to step out in faith and uh, you know you got a vision for your vehicle It's your vehicle you're paying for it you got to pay for the lift and everything else. All you got to do is just take a look 
kind of consider what you want to do and kind of go from there. Yeah, and the best way to, if you're kind of on the fence about lifting your truck, the best thing to do is to talk to somebody who's been there and done that with lifting their truck. So, uh, you know, leave me some comments down there in the uh, comment section and I'll uh, make an effort to kind of get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, thanks for watching the channel. Did you click that subscribe button yet?